there, it's Sandy Allnock here on YouTube, and I'm going to be Bible journaling just as he said, the scene inside the grave after Jesus was resurrected. And I was looking through my Bible to see where I could put a, an Easter page because I've journaled so much in this Bible. There's not much room left, but there was this half page. So I decided that I would put the scene inside the grave over here on the right. And I got out a pencil, this is just a fancy mechanical pencil, and started doing a little sketch of some fabric folds, just loose things draped on a horizontal block, was kind of what I was picturing, and then some structure on the wall. I wasn't really sure what, but on the other side of the page, I knew that there was this tall horizontal, or horizontal, tall vertical bit of color behind it. And as soon as I get it wet, you'll start to see what happens when you create art on the other side of art. You sometimes will get a little bleed through, but it's not bad and it's not very much, but the scene that I'm doing is going to basically cover that. Now I should not have just kind of let that brush stroke hang out because I will wrestle a little bit with trying to soften that edge, but I could, you know, go over it with a couple layers of color, which is what I normally do anyway. Wasn't really worried about doing much more than that. On the left side, I wanted to keep the colors a little lighter. So use the same kind of pinky colors at the bottom and more yellow at the top, but thinner because it's mixed with a lot more water. In the shadows down here below, like where the slab is and below the fabrics, I painted it a darker purple and then started putting in a little bit more. I was thinking maybe some columns of some kind, some sort of structure inside the grave. I have no idea what these things look like, you know, I don't know what, what the construction of it was, but I wanted just something in there to justify having this big kind of pinky purple band on one side. And then I put some blue in for the fabric folds and there's no science to this. I'm just throwing in something that's going to vaguely resemble fabric, knowing that all of this is going to get lighter when it dries. See how how fast I dried it. Wasn't that amazing? I also ironed it in between to flatten it out some and then started putting on a second layer of color. And it's going to be a richer layer of color with more paint and less water in the mix. So it's a little, little slight bit thicker and then it um, gets more coverage. On the left side, I was trying to figure out how to do something that felt like it was extending up the side but without covering the words. So I just mixed a really thin, thin, thin kind of pinky purple up there and let it just kind of slowly water out and then added more of the yellow because I love yellow and I wanted more sunshine pouring into the tomb and met that with some pinky colors down at the bottom because with something like this, if you want the fabric to look white, you want to put color around it. So I wanted more color and thus, I added more in there, just little tiny areas of detail, that kind of thing. And then I once again dried it and ironed it because between each layer, it's usually helpful to just kind of get it flattened out a little bit. I got out my micron pens and this is a one width, the thickness of the, the nib. And I used that for the bottoms of the shapes, these shadow shapes. And then the thinner one, a 0.5 for the top, which automatically gives it almost a suggestion of having some, I guess, dimension to it, with heavier on the bottom and lighter on the top. And one of the really nice things about this whole page was that it was so loose that my hand that I don't have full control over, I can't do really tight, detailed things in, in a lot of the art that I'm doing right now because of my repetitive stress injury, but for something like this, I could do really loose lines for the fabric. And then I'm doing vertical lines with the 0.5 pen. And then in the bottom part, I'm using the one so that I get thicker lines down at the bottom. But those, I'm not worried about trying to make them perfect. I'm just kind of throwing lines in there to get some extra contrast. Then for the columns that are here, I decided to make them look like they were sort of rocks, you know, there, there were columns, but maybe carved into them is this purple band of an area that's darker in between, pushed back a little bit, that kind of thing, just to give it something other than a, a single purple pink band 
across the side of the page. Same thing a little bit on the other side. This open space left me a perfect opportunity to put the words in here. And I took from what the angel said, he is not here, he has risen, just as he said. And during the season of Lent, I think one of the things I've realized through the study that I did, even if I wasn't able to complete the journal, realizing how much of Jesus' faithfulness came through in all of those scripture studies of his characteristics. It was just a wonderful thing to do, even if I did not get to complete the project. So there is my little page for you. Happy Resurrection Sunday. I hope you have a blessed one. Jesus is alive. Pass it on. And I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye.